How do I save a file in Lightroom? Hey there, this is Unmesh and welcome to another episode of Pix Imperfect. It's so great to have you. So saving files in Lightroom is all about answering questions one by one. It's that simple. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here in Lightroom, I have two images to show and demonstrate how to properly save and export your images as JPEGs or any requirement that you might be looking into. Maybe you want to save them for the web. Maybe you want to email them. Maybe you want to print them. So there are different settings for each. So let's look into how to properly export and save your images so there are two ways to save your images and both of the ways are very it lead to one actually so one of them is using the shortcut and to use the shortcut all you have to do you have to press ctrl shift and e and this opens up the export a dialog box and it shows you export two files because there are two files in this collection now the other way to open the export dialog box as i said before is to use the button and to use the button, you have to make sure that you're in the library module and from the library module, all you have to do, you have to open up, tuck this out and click on export. And the export dialog box shows up. Now, to save one image, select one image, to save all the images, select all the images. So it's that simple. So let me show you how to save this particular image and from there, how to apply the same settings to all the other images. Now, I select this image, then Control shift e or use the button if you would like and now there are there's an option here export to hard drive cd dvd email etc come on it's 2016 who uses cd dvd so let's select go on, go ahead and select the hard drive then export to specific folder choose the folder basic stuff and you also have the option to create a subfolder suppose you want to create a subfolder called photos from trip or whatever you you can do whatever you want you can create a subfolder let me uncheck this i don't want to create a subfolder now the other other example is this add to catalog what it does it adds the images that you have saved to a catalog but that's not exactly what you require now the file naming this is essential but before that what's more essential is existing files you make sure you select choose a new name for the exported file because if you select this overwrite without warning what will happen is if your image has the same name as one of the images with the same names in that folder that will be replaced with the image that you are now saving okay if you want that you can go ahead and select that but usually i keep this setting to choose a new name for the exported file so that the image that i'm saving by any means does not replace my current images that's kind of safe thing to do so the next thing that we would bump into would be file naming and this is essential so this shows you custom name and sequence so if you choose custom name and sequence you can give your image a custom name for example photos of or wherever place you had been maybe you went to trip to mumbai okay so your images will be named as mumbai 1 mumbai 2 mumbai 3 so on and so forth depending upon the number of images that you have selected so there are other options to custom name x of y custom name original file number and so on and so forth see so if it's original file number if you select a custom name say it's my name pix imperfect pix so it will name it 0047y because the name of the original image is actually 0047 dsc 0047 okay so i usually use custom name and sequence so you can name whatever you want and the sequence follows you can also have a custom name for one image that also can happen so custom name sequence now this not a video you need not open it file settings so edit that go okay okay file settings you want to save it as a jpeg psd tiff dng original whatever so you have the options there so if you want to give it for exquisite and a uh, very accurate printing and stuff save it as tiff it's the highest quality possible and the file format that's supported everywhere so yes tiff and if you and jpeg is for everything else it's for the web it's for the print it's supported everywhere so usually i leave it at jpeg quality depending upon the size it if it's 100 the image size would be massive uh, somewhere around maybe 12 or 14 mb if you are taking a 24 megapixel image and quality can be reduced to 80 doesn't make much of a difference okay 
there's an option which I usually use, especially for web. Suppose you're uploading something to Facebook or some other website, it's online. You can also check limit file size too. Often when you're uploading pictures online, there is a short note that file size should not exceed say 4 MB, it should not exceed 2 MB. In that case, you have this option that, okay, if it says file size should not exceed 4 MB, you go ahead and type 4000 KB. So that's the maximum size your images will be off. Now, let's go ahead, image resizing. We don't want to resize images. Output sharpening, yes, this is essential. So whenever you are saving an image, it needs some sharpening, especially if you are printing it, it needs some sharpening to be done. So check it and select standard. Standard sharpening is standard, high sharpening is looks really beautiful and low sharp sharpening doesn't make much of a difference so either put it in standard or high depending upon uh, what you're looking what results are you looking for so go ahead and do some trial and errors this is completely personalized experience what you like i might not like what i like you might not like so let's move on to the next thing watermark yes you can watermark your exported jpegs and that's a great thing and that's a great feature that lightroom gives you you can you can save hundreds of images at once and have all of them watermarked in one click so you can check the watermark and you can simple uh, copyright watermark you can edit watermark and you can create your own watermark so that's a different tutorial but yes you can set up your watermarks in Lightroom but still let me show you how to put a watermark in your images because I know you're impatient so let's go ahead and if I go ahead and select edit watermark so it will open up a dialog box called watermark editor so you can choose an image for your watermark as you usually have or you can put a text you can type anything and have a watermark see unmesh tinda that's my name you can put it anywhere these are the opacity sliders the positions the font that you want to have or you can choose a image instead of this you can choose your logo and click save and there you have it it will be saved as a preset and these are my presets on Mesh Web Sign. These are presets that I've made previously. You can select the presets and you're done. Every image of yours will be watermarked when you save it. Now, after exporting, do nothing. You can also open up in Photoshop and stuff like that. Do nothing, it's fine. Export. Once you are happy with the settings that you have saved, once you're happy with the location, you can go ahead and export it. So once you have exported the image, bonus tip. Select the other images that you want to export. So let's select the other image and file export with previous you don't have to do anything now this image will be applied with the same settings and will be uploaded to the same folder and you're good to go speeds up your workflow amazing okay before we wrap up if you want to save multiple images at once select all the images using control controller command a if you're using a mac command a selects all the image and then go to control shift e or press the export button and go ahead with how you export it it's all about answering questions don't confuse yourself and sometimes there are questions that you don't want to answer maybe you don't want to shop and uncheck that maybe you don't want to resize uncheck that okay so it's that simple hope you understood how to properly export images from lightroom if you have any questions suggestions feedback please leave them down in the comments below and i promise you that i'll get back to you soon like the video if you like it dislike the video if you dislike it but make sure that you hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next video till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating